Okay, so we gotta talk about the new bid on Michael Kaiser. 320 million. That is the current bid on God's chosen Emperor Michael Kaiser himself, the new generation 11 striker, to go to Real Madrid, or La Royale as we know it's confirmed to be called now because we were always kind of throwing around, you know, Royale. They said Royale earlier on in the manga and anime, but you know, I mean, I guess they're gonna change it up here. I don't have an issue with that. But what truly does matter is the roster that Royale potentially possesses, as well as the possibilities that they will get if Michael Kaiser joins their team, which realistically, it's it's an insane possibility i mean i think if that happens there's not a single club that we've seen that can like mess with them i mean we don't know what pxg is truly like yet so we'll have to wait to see but even still i don't think they'd be able to contest with kaiser and Sai playing on the same team that just seems a little too overpowered to me we do know that the goal of the ubers match was for kaiser to acquire a new bid simply to get away from bastion munich because he knows as long as he's at bastion munich he will always be in the shadow of the great noel noah that's noah's club everybody knows it and that's never going to change however Ever, if he can get to a different club, one where the literal greatest striker in the world, the world's number one, isn't, you know, sitting at the helm, then he has a possibility here. And Real, that's a possibility. As we know, their main striker, Leonardo Luna, he is the scion of Royale, stated to be one of the best strikers in the world, or else he wouldn't have been competing with the World Five. Obviously, that's still something that's a really big mountain to climb, but compared to Noel Noah, who is the literal peak, I don't think it's going to be as tough. You understand what I'm saying? If Kaiser can get integrated into the system and almost force Luna to utilize his skills elsewhere on the pitch, maybe towards the wing, or even a dual striker setup, you'll have an attacking formation where Toshi Sai will have full reign and be able to utilize Leonardo Luna as well as Michael Kaiser to the best of his abilities, not to mention... We can already assume that Psy has Metavision, as well as Kaiser knowingly having Metavision. So, two Metavision players instinctively, I assume they'll be playing instinctively, linking up at that point. It's levels, like levels clear of him and Ness at the current moment. And then when you take it against Hiyori and Isagi at the current moment, I'd say that's basically exactly how it is. Except you're taking a way better Hiyori in Psy, and then a way better Isagi in Kaiser. And then, you know, boom. Now from here, we can do a ton of speculation as far as who we believe fills up the roster. You have the possibility of more new Gen 11 players being on Real. I mean, the real life counterpart has a bunch of superstars. There could be a Jude Bellingham type player alongside Atoshi Sai, one who almost mentored him in the ways of central midfield, who helped him integrate from the striker position to where he is now. They could be like the true centerpiece of the team. You don't know how other clubs work. Maybe that's the reason that they weren't selected because their team isn't led by their striker. But hey, that's just woeful speculation. I think if I had to make like direct correlations to real life counterparts, uh, the three I'd want to see would be obviously a winger, so Vinicius type. Another defender would be awesome, so a Sergio Ramos type, different from Lorenzo, but still a dominant defender in his own right. And then finally, like I said, another midfielder who's kind of the team captain, uh, someone who could also potentially be Itoshi Sai's real mentor. Seeing a Casillas type goalkeeper would be pretty sick too, don't get me wrong, but I would like to see a PXG goalkeeper actually. That's, that's just me personally. I feel like having a really good goalkeeper on PXG is going to be a very interesting narrative, and I really hope that we see it there instead of real when we actually see real play but i don't have a problem with that so weighing in their real life counterparts and taking in all possibilities based on speculations that we can make narratively as well as simply what's been stated in the manga i mean they were said to be the best club in the world the strongest club in the world you can't tell me that they aren't going to have a shit ton of superstars i know i said that pxg is going to have a ton of superstars and not be able to play well but i feel like in this case, it'll be a ton of superstars who can play well. And staying on the train of willful speculation with the possibility of there being one new Gen 11 type winger, you can move Leonardo Luna out to the wing, giving Michael Kaiser free reign at the striker position. I feel like Atoshi Sai would call for this anyway. Maybe Luna would say, go fuck yourself, because he is kind of the one who crushed Sai's ego. That's at least how all of us have kind of assumed it was. But truthfully, uh, I, I think that Kaiser at the striker position would serve best, especially if he had Atoshi Sai with him. We don't know if Leonardo Luna has MetaVision. I think we can almost assume that all the pros have some form of it, but... It's, it's not stated outright, and especially for the New World 5, we haven't seen them do anything like that. Besides Pablo Cavazos, whose eyes were kind of going haywire, something that we hadn't seen anyone do up to that point, so it was a little special to see something that crazy. So it has to be taken into account with overall vision, but I believe that the dual vision of the new Gen 11 center mid, as well as the new Gen 11 striker, would link up with each other, and they'd understand that the potential with Sai and Shido was through the roof, but if Sai has Michael Kaiser the number one youth striker in the world, you know, behind Julian Loki, the number one youth striker in the world, at his disposal, pack it up. Tr truthfully, 
truthfully, pack it up. If Atoshi Sai and Michael Kaiser actually link with each other, like, I don't think Kaiser is going to take this bid. Like, I really don't think he's going to Real. I'm, I would love to see him go to Real because it would just be the most lovable bullshit and you'd probably have to see Rin and Isagi Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, I'll, I'll make a separate video on this too so I can go more in depth because I just got a crazy idea. One thing I thought just due to the fact that I thought the narrative is going for a 4-0 if in Bastion Munich's favor was that Isagi would actually outperform Kaiser and Rin winning the game for Bastion Munich basically on his own with the help of, you know, Kunigami, Kuruna, Yukimiya, potentially Ness if he wants to trade him, and then Hiori obviously, but we all knew that would happen. But he outperforms Kaiser, scoring the majority of the goals and winning the game for Bastion Munich. I believed that the best narrative you can draw from that would be to take that value away from Kaiser and then give it to Isagi. Not for Bastion Munich, though. For La Real. So Kaiser loses La Real's interest because Isagi outperforms him, meaning that Isagi goes and plays with the Toshi Sai, making Rin absolutely fucking lose it and... You know, we can kind of go into where we want to go from the World Cup there. That would be the best place for Isagi realistically to perform. If he's going to step up in these levels, like I know he's chasing Noel Noah technically right now, but he has to, you know, take steps, take steps. And if you were to chase anyone, Leonardo Luna would be a good step. He's up there, but not, you know, the top. And he's already had run-ins with, you know, Lavinio, Chris Prince, Smart Snuffy in this last match, who acknowledged Isagi's vision and his game sense as being very impressive. But I just don't think that he can truly compete with them for a little while. So, baby steps. Takes out a new Gen 11 in Kaiser, then he can move on to a World 5 player. That's honestly the best way I see it working. However, the other possibility that I just thought about is way more batshit, and it involves... Kaiser actually doing good. He scores two, Isagi scores one. That's basically how you end the rivalry. It's a tied matchup between the two of them at the end of the Neo Egoist League. They're at a stalemate. Now, how are you going to solve this stalemate? Well, Kaiser did good. So his valuation went up to, let's just say, 300 and, or let's just say, 400 million, right? Let's just say that Real just wanted to give him a little bit extra of a bag, sent him 400 million, saying, get your ass over here. We want to see that impact. However, Someone else who performed very well in the match. Someone who was able to run with and predict every movement of the other person who played very well in the match. Atoshi Rin. Meaning that Isagi Yoichi would get a bid from PXG. And I know it's batshit crazy. But that's why I fucking love that possibility. Because imagine they see the potential that Isagi has working with Rin. And we find ourselves in the Champions League finals where Atoshi Rin has foregone the striker position to Isagi Yoichi because he's truly a better cam than he would be a striker. Rin has way more weapons than everybody else on the field, so being a cam would be the best spot that he can actually utilize everything that he's about. Not to mention that most of his shots are outside the box, so might as well just be further away. You know what I'm saying? On top of that, having the person who plays literally perfect with him in Isagi, another version of himself, would be the number one that both of them need. And as long as they learn to just play in tandem with each other, as well as their meta vision eventually linking up with their flow states, I think that's probably the best duo that we can get. Besides the duo that they will meet in the Champions League, regarded as the number one youth duo in the entirety of the world of football in blue. Blue Lock, Atoshi Sai, and Michael Kaiser. That, that, that would be awesome. That, that would be really great. I don't think that the manga is going to be long enough to where we can get ourselves a Champions League and World Cup, but, but that would be awesome. Like, like, truly, that would put a smile on my face. But all this was just my opinion. I want to know what you guys think about Kaiser joining Real, because it really is an insane possibility and it just leaves you to think with all the possibilities that can happen with team shakeup with other teams bidding for players and players getting to leave the teams or get traded mid-season like how would that work i would love to see i would love to see a little bit more of this or at least a better explanation but until then uh that's all i got for you today guys if you want to enjoy this video make sure you leave a like and consider subbing up to the channel post notifications down below so you never miss another banger for myself i am going to be having videos coming all month so if you're interested stay tuned and as always i love you guys take it easy